Form Spark integration in Framer is a little bit limited. So today I will try to show you how to create your own custom made form into Framer um, without any coding skills required. So let's get started. Okay, so um, this is a typical default integration with Form Spark, which um, Framer is uh, providing. And as you may know, those fields are limited. We can all only have a three of them. So we need something like this. Um, to do it, we also have to create Phonop Spark account. So let's do this for the first step. Um, when we have fully operating account, we have to create new form. So let's press plus, name it for instance choose react and create okay that's everything at this moment in frame spark dashboard we have to go to framer create new asset press plus in the code section title it form 2 for example and now we have something like this Okay, I know that I promise that you don't need any coding skills. So, next step is to take the code from the description of, of this video and paste it in this place. So, I will take this code of fully operating um, form and it is like from here. Okay, so, and now you have to highlight this, paste it and save it. Yep, and it is working, but we have to do some um, adjustments. Um, first of all, um, there is a placeholder for your submitting link. This is very important info. So in order to get any submission, you need to go to Forspark and paste your code, um, sorry, your link here and save it. And now adjusting the style of our form. As you can see, we have a couple things to Week. For example, we can change the color of the text, label text, or let's say black. Okay, or font uh, family, or for example, um, border radius, box shadow, anything. But the main thing is to add another fields so to do so we have to we have to highlight one field this is label email and copy it press enter and paste it underneath and now we have two inputs of email, but we have to, of course, um, adjust it. So, for example, phone number, phone number, ID number, placeholder number. And the label or maybe phone number. Okay, it's working. Um, next thing is GDPR consent. So if you want only you know uh, adjust the label of this checkbox, you have to edit this line. Let's say 
I love this channel and I will subscribe. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, and the most important thing is that here we have required label. Whenever someone try to submit, he have to fill all those required fields and checkboxes. If you want to adjust your um, pattern, here is a place to do so. Um, this is a submit, which is um, this um, big button here. And this is a style for this button. So if you want change something in this uh, section you can like paste uh, an another hex or make bigger padding or I don't know having anything you want to um, so this is the place okay last but not least I think it is very important thing to do is redirection redirection is uh, think what will happen after submitting this is crucial because with this redirection, after submitting, your user will stay on your site. By default, PhonoSpark will um, show you a PhonoSpark uh, confirmation screen, but we don't want to show them that we use PhonoSpark. So, for example, I have a link to my website. So, um, when someone submits, he will get back to this page instead of showing them um, confirmation screen from Photospark. But if you want to create a um, confirmation uh, screen that it is um, unique for you, I would rather create a new website which is a um, copy of our um, place where we have a form Okay, now we can um, paste a link to this side, or maybe, yeah, paste link to this side into. Oh, okay, here. Okay, I will show you the redirection. Okay, so as you can see, it's working. Um, I have my submission here, so everything is working. I hope that you will manage to create your own form with this tutorial. If you have some questions, just leave a comment. And um, next thing should be creating some spam protection. Um, maybe I will provide some video with this, I don't know. If you need it, just hit me in the comment section. Okay, bye.